We have our 1990 Miata project. It's been in the background of a couple videos. We were putting the subframe on this because I made a new turbo return line for it. It was another, you know, like the Prelude, it was another shop that everything was torn apart. It had nothing on the front of it. The cams were out of it. The intake manifold was off of it. Um, we had to get this manifold because the stock man or the manifold that came with the turbo kit had cracked and we couldn't find a, a just a manifold to buy that worked with how the kit was. Um, so we're going through it and kind of redesigning the turbo kit to get it back to running. And then we're, we've talked to him, we're gonna do a Link ECU um, because this is a really old kit. If you, uh, if you know what this is, you probably have back pain randomly now. Right now, we're today we're gonna be focusing on trying to get in a, a, a hot pipe made for the intercooler. Um, this is going to go down here in the turbo or in the engine bay next to the AC compressor. Uh, there's a lot of shit that is going in that area. Also, I, I have the uh, coolant pipe that goes here. It bolts onto here soaking to clean it up because I have to make sure that this intercooler pipe doesn't interfere with the coolant pipe. Um, it's, it comes down from the turbo and then goes through and this snakes through the AC compressor lines. Um, and I, I, I know I have to chop here because of how it's routed and the sway bar is actually right up front of there. We'll show you that. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna see what we can get done today. So we got where, like this is the lower section of where our intercooler is or our intercooler piping is gonna be run. So you can see this is the inlet for the intercooler, inlet for the radiator, and then the never rusting sway bar. Um, so this is gonna go through here up to the turbo in there. And so I'm gonna have to have this come down and then go underneath the, either I'm gonna go underneath the radiator or I'm gonna go around this way to the inner cooler so that it's not a low spot on the car, which is why I'm cleaning the uh, radiator hoses so I can at least mock them up and have a better idea of where this is gonna be. I have to get some more tape. This tape is well used. So that's pretty close to where we want it. Let me clean up that radiator hose and we'll see where that goes. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm already seeing a problem. But I wanna get this all the way in so we can put the in a cooler pipe I'm making up in there. This, all right, it's gotta yeah. go yonder. Yeah, yeah, so those two go together. And then this comes up in here and goes there. Yikes. The only thing I'm thinking is we might just shorten this and have the hose come up to here. Mm -hmm. So, instead of the hose being all the way out here, it'll go up onto that, which will pull the ho hose further forward. Yeah. Is there heat issue? Always. With yeah, there's, I mean, where this whole thing is, like the, the intake is going to go right under the yeah. cylinder one. Yeah. So, we're going to put some, instead of this heat wrap shit that they put all around all this, we're going to put some reflective tape on this or um, we might even talk to him about doing some sort of coating. I might have to do some different tubing bends too because where I had this, it goes right into the hose down there by the AC compressor. Yeah. So we gotta have it turned a little bit better. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to move stuff and massage things and I kind of just eyeballed from the outside, the orientation I thought this might sit. This is good though for the two pipes being yeah. almost nowhere near. I can kind of, I can bend it down this way to go around yeah. and just this hose will go around it as well. Uh, 
I'm not going to get a whole lot done today. There's been a lot of uh, distractions and, and me getting pulled off of stuff. But, um, as you can see, um, I have a little bit more piping made. It's going to come real close to everything as it snakes through the underneath. Um, I've still got to get this to come all like out and down under here. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that the lower radiator hose is going to work. I have to still figure out the upper radiator hose. Um, I'm going to show you what I've got there. I've got the tacks holding the other pie cuts there. Um, you can see in here, let me try to shove the camera. Um, that's where our power steering line is going to go if we keep power steering. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to be able to tack these pie cuts today and that might be it, but at least we're getting closer. As for the top, I have it sitting in there a little bit. So I have the radiator hose that they were using for couplers before holding the top of it. And then, as you can see, we're still going to have to figure out something with the coolant hoses because that coolant hose goes to that coolant hose. And as of right now, they literally go into the intercooler pipe. This is the old coolant hose that someone slit to get off. Um, I think I'm just going to have to take this hose down there uh, to O'Reilly, our favorite place, and see if we have anything that might fit our requirements uh, with little bends and whatnot. I'm going to mark this one right here because that's about where I would like a bend to go around this. And then we're probably going to have to trim this no matter what. It's all one piece now. Well, it looks like it fits. Probably gonna start building from the other side though, just in case I won't be able to get them as one piece. Well, it's the end of the day. I didn't get done what I wanted to get done. It's tucked away. Um, we'll see if I do anything to it tomorrow. 